Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the series where we're trying to learn Python by solving interview questions from top tech fan companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. If you are preparing for any of these roles, this series is a great way to build your concepts and even practice it along the way. So yeah, let's jump right in. So in this video, we are going to solve this question on status scratch regarding total employees in each department. This question has been asked in Google, Apple and Amazon interviews and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst or ML engineer interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the number of employees in each department, output the department name along with the corresponding number of employees. So we are given a data frame called worker and expected output it says panda series but if i look at the expected output it's, it's clearly not a panda series it is a data frame that is what it, this must be typo okay so let's inquire about the worker data frame so what we have is we have the worker id which i think is going to be unique and then the first name last name salary joining date and department so to solve this question what we need to do is basically we can go ahead and group by the department column and then take the worker id column and count that right so what we are doing is from worker let's group by the department column and then since we have learned that okay we can you use a powerful aggregation method called egg and then what we are doing is we need to firstly provide what is the final name of the column that we want so we want it as number of workers and then we basically pass a tuple. So which column we are going to take in this case worker ID. And then what are we going to do with worker ID? We are going to perform a function called count. Since we already grouped by department ID that is going to be the index by default. So we need to reset the index because we want that as an column. Here you can see right department is a column. So let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get here. Okay, so if you look at it, this is same as what we have in our expected output. I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases. So yeah, everything is green and this is how you do it. Not a very difficult question. All we had to do was firstly, what we did was we, we grouped by the department column and then use the worker ID column to perform a count and then assign that value to a column named number of workers. And since we grouped by the department, we had to reset index so that department appears as a column. So yeah, this is how do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video